you know, one of the fun things I like to do with my machine is use rulers. I love straight lines and I love perfect circles. And so Handy Quilter offers a lot of options in rulers and templates. Let me show you how to use them. It is so fun. So first of all, your machine comes with the ruler foot, but there's an optional accessory that you can purchase that is the sure foot. And we talked about it, that in the handy feet section. And so I have that sure foot on. It's at higher profile, and if you were to look at this, you can see the difference in the two. It's just a good, safe foot to use for rulers. Okay, so another thing you can do is you can use your echo feet and put that on, and then that just gives you extra distance away from the needle for your stitching. So I'm gonna take those away and I'm going to show you some things about rulers. First of all, you always want to use the rulers being able to read the writing because if you turn it over, your lines are up. You want those lines right against the fabric. The other thing is, is that I feel on the Capri, on any stationary machine, you need to have handy grip on those rulers so that it will grip the fabric as you're moving the fabric. So if I were to use this straight one, this is a skinny, we'll try to put this out of the way a little bit. I am going to take this ruler, I'm gonna bring up my bobbin thread. I'm going to set this to about 11 stitches per inch. And I have it in a low cruise at 75 on my cruise. Gonna hold my thread. And as I move this, look at that. I get a perfect straight line. I can stop. And another thing, I would put my needle in the down position so that it would stop in the down position so that it holds my fabric. If you forget to do then that, just tap your foot pedal. Now I can go across like this and it ended in the down position. Move that foot or the ruler back. It's keeping me in stitch regulation as I stitch along here. Perfect square, perfect straight lines. Now, let's put this one aside and let's use the circle. How do I do this circle? First of all, I can't get it inside because my foot is down. So I need to tap my foot up, and then it's going to go right around that ankle of the foot, and look, it went right in. Okay, so now if I want to do circles, I can go ahead. I've got my handy grip on so that it grips it, and I'm just going to hold that and just go right around that circle. Now, isn't that fun? I got a tip for you, though. Sometimes you may want to put the sweet spot or the paddles on to hold this. And this one, there's a little issue because it's touching it, so you might want to put that at a position that it, it won't touch the hopping foot, and then you can go around and that helps hold that. So that paddle, grabs, or this sweet spot actually grabs this so it holds it and it won't slide. So that's an option for you. Now let's just move that and let's say, let's stitch another circle right around here. And where that opening is there, it's just going to go right past that because that's a small enough opening that it makes a perfect circle. So enjoy using rulers, but I really highly recommend that when you use your rulers that you use ruler grip with them. That'll hold that down and it, you will have great success. Mm -hmm.